Hi, it's Cheyenne. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, uh, like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So, I went to Thailand a couple of weeks back. And I promised a haul for y'all. But I never got around to actually recording it. Because I'm lazy. And I've been pretty busy with work recently. So, actually, I'm... I'm actually very sorry I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm actually going to get ready to go to bed right now and yeah so I might as well film this before I forget actually filming this video. So I am just going to start out with the beauty products. Uh, for Thailand, I went to Thailand for 6 days. 4 days in, Hai, in Hua Hin and 2 days in Bangkok. So I did most of my shopping in Bangkok. So in Hua Hin was a really nice place. I went there for sightseeing and all that. I went to a sheep farm. I went to Santorini. That was a beautiful place to take photos. I'll I insert some pictures here. It's really really pretty. And like the one place that I really liked going in Hua Hin was, was a Shiba Inu cafe. I saw like so many cute little Shiba Inus and it was amazing. I like suddenly remembered a video of a Shiba Inu cafe in Thailand and I googled it when I was in Hua Hin and it was like uh, like a 15 minutes drive from my hotel so I immediately went there and I was like so happy. I, I got to see some cute little Shiba Inus and like yeah. When I went to the Shiba Inu cafe they gave me like these little Shiba Inu stickers. So cute. Oh. My favourite Shiba there was definitely Moda, the fat black one. She just, she was, she, the whole time we were eating, she just sat right next to me on the chair next to me and I was like, oh my god, that is so cute, I want to bring you home. So I tried to carry her and she was like too fat, I couldn't carry her for too long. So yeah. <laughs> so starting off with the beauty stuff, I mainly bought most of my beauty stuff in Butrium. Uh, it's in Siam Square, so like, Two of the main beauty places you can find in Thailand is Butrium and of course Even Boy. I went to Even Boy, I went around there and like walked around and looked at everything. Everything, it's like a makeup mecca man. It's just like a Sephora but they have like, like high end stuff. They have MAC, they have NARS, um, Urban Decay, all those kind of brands and with their own local Thai drugstore brands as well which is I think it's really cool and I wish like Sephora had some like cheaper um, much cheaper options because it's all in one roof like all the high-end and all the drugstore brands is in one place uh, another place is Butrium which I got most of my stuff from as you can see Butrium Butrium I would describe it more as a sasa <laughs> They had a lot of like beautiful lashes and they did carry some uh, western makeup brands that they aren't here in Asia. For example, they have Milani and Lime Crime which is like very exciting because Lime Crime is really hard to get in Asia. You need to import it here and so like most people go there to buy the like the hair dyes and the eyeshadow palettes and the makeup there. But I didn't buy anything from Lime Crime because I didn't feel like there was anything that I really wanted in particular. I bought in Butrium. This is the Raman U Munich Ramanyana mask. Okay, I already tried this mask so I'm gonna insert a clip really fast. So these are like a moisturizing mask. The pink one is for whitening. Red one is for elasticity. And the green one is for like pores and the purple one is for moisture. Actually they all all of them say it's a moisturizing mask and this mask is quite special and unique because it's actually like a character mask. As you can see, each one has its corresponding little thing. I don't know what these things are called. Are they called like uh are these their names? Are they like uh, characters for folklore? Because like the pink one says Hanuman, the red one says Sukrit, green one is Tosakan, Tosakan, and the purple one is Mayarap. So these are actually really interesting. Uh, you can find them in like 7-Elevens, Butrium, any beauty store or any um, 
Watson's. I even found it in Watson's. Uh, pretty much anywhere that sells souvenirs, they will sell this. I bought this in Butrium. I found that the price in Butrium was slightly more cheaper than uh, Watson's. Watson's was selling it for 200 plus and while the Butrium was selling it for 190 something, I can't remember but like you can go to different stores and compare the prices and buy it. I actually think these masks are a really cute gift because they are character masks and like I did try the, the mask but I don't think it's like anything really special. It's just the gimmick is just it's a character mask. That's it. Next thing I got was from 7 Eleven. I really like uh, Thailand 7 Elevens because it's kind of like Japan 7 Elevens where like they have very instant food and one thing I find very unique about the beauty stuff in 7-Elevens is that everything is sold in packets. So for example, there, I found like Maybelline foundations in little one use sachets and I found this brand. It's called Sis to Sis. So this is supposed to be like single use makeup. I actually tried this liquid eyeshadow on when I went out on the day and it's actually really long lasting and very glimmery. So I'm, I'm going to swatch it for you. So this one... The brown one is number 2 in Coco Blend and the, this one is Peachy Cream 01. They actually have lots of different things. This one is actually a mascara and they even have lipsticks or liquid brush, something like that. I'm going to swatch it for you. These actually do smell like chocolate. These liquid eyeshadows really do smell like chocolate and it's really fun to use. They're also quite inexpensive, so if you're if you're thinking of like you didn't bring any makeup and you need something in a rush, you can just buy these and these are the swatches. They are really really metallic and glittery and they they do last all day. So it's really pretty. I just put it on my lid and like blend it out. So as you can see, you can blend out blend it out. See? And it does stay in place quite a while actually. You see that? It's really pretty. It smells like chocolate. It smells like dark chocolate. I just want to eat them. Look at that. It's so reflective. This one is their mascara. So maybe like if you're in a pinch, you can buy these. These are pretty inexpensive. So you can just buy them, try them if you're in a pinch. Next thing I bought from 7-Eleven is this. Uh, Serichan setting powder. I love this stuff. The last time I was in Thailand, I bought this and it's still one of my favourite powders. But I'm gonna show it to you how it looks like. This is how it looks like. It's really really pretty. I don't know if I'm holding it upside down or what because I can't read Thai to be honest. But I really really like this setting powder. It mattifies your face instantly and I use it for baking. It, the powder leans a little bit yellow so it's really suitable for Asian skin and I highly recommend you pick it up if you're in Thailand as a gift for your friends because I really recommend this and it is really pretty and I, I really love this powder so I bought like extra backup maybe I'll put it in a giveaway like in one of like my favorites giveaway so this maybe I'll keep because I still haven't used finished this powder you see it lasts me quite a while to be honest. The stuff I got were eyelashes. The eyelashes there are so beautiful. Look at these. Most of them are like uh, 3D. This is 6D mink lashes. This is by the brand uh, Hello. Hello eyelashes. They are really, really pretty. These are the super natural ones. I tried them and I, to be honest, I don't like them because you can hardly see them in my lash, in my eyes. Actually, I used this on my last video and you can see how it looks like on my eyes then. Another one is this. This was like a huge stack. Uh, all of their eyelashes are really, really affordable and like super beautiful. And like this one is like, I use this as a bottom lash. It's just like handmade uh, eyelashes. And this is how they look like. The packaging is really pretty for this one. And this one, this one I actually bought it for a friend of mine who is actually a drag queen. These lashes are absolutely beautiful. I've been using these lashes on my recent looks and it looks so amazing. I might not give it to him, so sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> it's so pretty, but like these two I got from Butrium. This is from a roadside stall which has like no brand or something like that. So I don't know, maybe you can find it online, the, the thing, 
the brand is called J Co J Co J Co. Excuses. Okay, other stuff I got. I got these brushes from Essence. Okay, I got these two brushes from Essence. Uh, this one is a smudging brush and an eye blend, eye crease blender brush. See, so pretty. Like, I know there's Essence in Malaysia, but it's kind of hard to get like specific products that you may want, like brushes or like um, like their eyeshadow, like their eyebrow tints. I know that's like a really popular product of Essence, but like it's really hard to find it because it's always sold out. Essence is mostly sold out in stores where I go to, so it's really hard to find like specific items that you want to find. So I bought these two brushes from Watson's. I bought this... Um, what is it called? For you two, I bought two lipsticks. One more lipstick, I misplaced it. I think I put it in another bag of mine and I can't find it right now. But like, a friend of mine, Amanda of Honey Bees Nailey from Instagram, she really recommended I try their lipsticks and blushes. I did not get any of their blushes because uh, none of them were really calling out to me. So I got the lipsticks. I swatched it in stores and I was in awe. Like all of their lipsticks have, all of their lipsticks have the most amazing formula. Let me show it to you. This one is in the shade um, My Angel. This is their, one of their lipsticks. It is super bright, buttery and super pigmented. You see that? You see that? That's like a kind of more reddish MLBB color. And it glides on your lips super well. It stains. I feel like it lasts really long on my lips and it's so so comfortable to wear. I'm uh I actually don't really like to wear lip products because my lips tend to get really really dry. So I really like this lipstick. It's amazing and like if you're in Thailand, you have to try for you too. This brand is really good. I also heard that they do have this brand in Malaysia in Play Up at once. So you should go and try and check out for you too. It's so good. I've never heard of it until like I heard some of my friends rave about it and I didn't believe them until like I tried it out for myself and I was like Oh my god. This is like I feel like this is like ColourPop in terms of standard and the price is so good. This is like less than 200 baht. This lipstick was less than 200 baht and the quality is so amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, another lipstick. I bought another lipstick, but it's from the brand Milani and it is in the shade number 69. Haha, <laughs> 69 Matte Beauty. So you know why I I bought this Milani 69? Why did I buy it? The influence is strong. I blame Goth Roots because like nowhere in Asia sells Milani except for Thailand. So I flew my ass all the way to Thailand to buy this lipstick. Okay, Goth Roots. Please notice me, senpai. Ah! Like, it's a really beautiful nude. It means more brownie. In real life, it looks more like of the dark brown. And let me swatch it. I'm gonna swatch it here. Oh, that's beautiful. Actually, I haven't opened this yet. Ah! Look at that. It's actually kind of a brownie nude. I can't wait to try this out because like, I love golf nudes. I like, I love his looks and everything. He's such a great influencer. Like, like I'm, like there's some influencers that like you can't get enough of. Like I feel like Golf Foods is one of those kind of influencers. I love him so much. Oh, it smells a little bit like chocolate too. Hmm. Okay, so we are moving on to like fashion, I guess. So next, I went to Chat to Chat. Chat to Chat. I didn't buy many things. Like my mom wanted to go there and see like pets for some reason because I actually had a dog. I actually had a, a poodle that we got from Chat to Chat. A friend bought it for us like a really long time ago. Like my poodle passed away now anyway. So like we got our poodle from Chat to Chat and like he shipped it over all the way from Thailand to Malaysia by train. These two little poodles recently they just died. They just passed away like last year, like in between the same time period. So that's kind of sad. My mom did. We didn't get to see any pets. We we kept looking looking for the pet section and we couldn't find it. The last time when we went to Chatuchat, which was like 
a really long time ago, like when I was a little kid. I remember I saw like lots of little pets there, but like this time when I went there, I couldn't see any. So I bought socks. So like I bought six socks for 200 or 100, 200 I think. Yeah, so it's just like normal socks, these kind of ankle socks because I do wear like kind of, I do wear socks to work. So I just got, simply got some socks. I don't wear them for fashion purposes. I'm just wearing them for like, you know, just wearing my socks for sock reasons, you know? So this one I got from Cicada Market. Cicada Market is really, really nice. Was it Simicada or Tamarind? I think it's Cicada, yeah. Cicada is more of a night market where people sell their handicrafts and stuff. So I got this t-shirt. It's a grey t-shirt. Ignore the stain because like I dropped yogurt on my on my right kitty and I can't get it off. I'm gonna wash this shirt anyway. So like it's a grey shirt and you can choose the pocket. So they let me choose the colour of the shirt and like the design of the pocket so they will sew it on for you there and then. I got another shirt for my boyfriend. It's a black colour shirt with a white colour cat pocket. So like yeah. It's a cute gift I guess. I'll explain the colour it's like puke green. Actually, this colour, I just call it Teddy Green now because like Teddy likes this colour. He chose this colour. <laughs> it's kind of like a crop top. It's a yellowish green colour with a paw print on it. And the fabric is kind of unique. Look at it. It sparkles. Ooh. It's kind of a unique cut, I think. So I bought it. My mom noticed this and then like she was like, Nah, Cheyenne, you want it? So she just bought it for me. So I was like, cool. Okay, another, another fashion find which I found like really 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 interesting and I really want to share with you all is this. Look at it! The paper bag is so cute. Look at the illustration. Okay, this store is called Daddy and the Muscle Academy. It's located in Sian Square. Uh, actually, I saw a mermaid cafe right next to it. Then I saw this Daddy and the Muscle Academy. It is so good. I really recommend you you check that place out. It's super aesthetic. They sell a lot of like really trendy stuff. I bought a t-shirt and some stickers from them. Okay. So the t-shirt I bought, this is in the XL size. Look at that. It's like a pink. It has like a pink edges and like this anime girl. A heart-shaped anime girl. Actually, if I were to design my own t-shirt, this is kind of like how I imagine my own line of t-shirts to look like. It is super cute. I, I find like, I saw this shirt and it resonated with me instantly. And like, look at the tag. The tag even has their own logo and stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Super cute. This was like 490 baht. They also sell like dresses, hats, uh, bags and one thing that I really like from them is like stickers. They even sell accessories. They pretty much sell everything. Like there, I see there was a lot of trendy shops like this with like cafes inside of it. They, it's like mini boutique with cafes in it. I also bought some of their stickers. Look at that. It's so pretty. This one has a skull. This one says, we have been too nice too long. And you're a spell and I'm fall in. Like, grammar isn't that good, but like, it's so cute. Like, these stickers range about 50 to 200 baht, depending on the size. And this is another sticker that I bought. It's really cute, all pinky and like a little sheep, some cats, fluffy, all that. This one's really cute. This one looks like, like my boyfriend's cat. It's kind of cute. <laughs> a really beautiful place. I really recommend it if you're into fashion and like taking pictures. It's, re it's a really nice place to take pictures. I went there myself so I couldn't take any pictures by myself. But I think it's something that you should really uh, try to check out. There's also like a mermaid cafe which is like four stories. It has four stories of this mermaid cafe. So it's like a boutique, a nail parlor and a cafe. Which I think it's really cool if you want to take pictures there. I love this stuff. This stuff is great. This stuff is addicting. Look, I bought so many of them. <laughs> I bought so much. Like, I don't think they'll ever run out. 
maybe I will. I mean, I can eat a few of these in one go, but like. Anyway, thank you guys for watching my small little haul. I know I didn't buy a lot because I'm personally not a shopaholic. I don't really like shopping for stuff. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!